Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to book DHL Courier online or how do you create your own ship shipment in DHL. So before we start, hurry up and check out this stuff or just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we do this? Well, first things first is we need to access the official website for DHL, which in this case, you go ahead and visit DHL.com. Now, in here, what we need to do is we need to start or start using our service. So typically at the top left, you have your ship here. Go ahead and click on it. And from here, you have the following. So if you're just uh, someone that is sending this uh, personally, you could choose the uh, DHL Express here. But if you're a business, you could choose uh, ex uh, freight, serv uh, freight services. But if you're a frequent shipper here and you want to start using DHL as a service, you could use the frequent shipping options option, uh, option section here. In this case, let's go and click on Explore DHL Express here since we want to uh, send it on uh, in, in, in behalf of us. So in this case, let's go ahead and scroll down a bit here until you see the section that says Ship Now. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now, the next section, you need to provide all the details. So that includes your name, your company, your territory, your address here, then some postcode, your city, and uh, all those information, even your contact number. Now, in this case, you also need to provide the, the address of the recipient. Now, in this case, that includes their name, their company, and the country or territory. Now, in this case, you can go ahead and choose uh, whatever country here and that is uh, relevant for you. So, for example, you have Australia. So, you need to provide the address on for Australia, postal code, and all of those details, and even their contact numbers. Now, in this case, go and provide those details and click on Next at the bottom right of your screen. Now, on the next page, you need to choose what type of uh, package that you, that you want to send. So, maybe a document or a package. So, in this case, choose accordingly. So, for example, if you want to send a package, just go and choose that one. And you want to select your purpose of your shipment. So maybe a GIF or commercial or personal use or not for resale. So for example, it's just a GIF that we want to send out. In this case, we need to describe the actual item itself. So what is in the item. You can go and click on create description. And you can also add the commodity codes here. And uh, some of the quantity or how many it is. So for example, pieces of value per item, the weight for it. And where was this item made? So in this case, you can go and specify that as well. Now, in this case, uh, depending on the weight of the product, so for example, I'm going to say they are actually around uh, 5 or let's just say 1 kilogram each. So in this case, it's going to actually give you total value here depending on the actual weight. But then again, go ahead and provide all the necessary details here. Like for example, there's some um, candies. And from here, you could go ahead and add a commodity, co commodity, uh, um, commodity code as well. Now, in this case, where this item is made, so I could just say this is going to be from Philippines, but in this case, going to provide uh, whatever, uh, be truthful, by the way, be truthful with the details that you're entering in here. But in this case, once we actually added out, what we need to do next is we need to go to additional information. So in this case, uh, if you want to add further information, so add charges, like for example, invoice, include any additional charges for the shipment if needed. So in this case, you have the add shipping reference here. So in this case, uh, appears on shipping label, waybill, or uh, any references here. So in this case, once you've added all those details, you could go ahead and click on the next button at the bottom right here. But then again, let's go ahead and add a value for this one. So let's just say 100. So in this case, the total value for this package is going to be the following. Let's go and click on next here. And uh, from here, what we need to do and is provide the custom invoice details here if you want to. So in this case, if you want to add an invoice number, I would like to include an invoice number here, additional invoice information, any remarks, and additional parties if there are any. So in this case, if you want to proceed, just click on next if you don't have those. Now in this case, you need to provide the uh, packaging. So in this case, the packaging is going to be your own or maybe some of the packages that DHL provide. We have a box here, which is the sizes. As you can see, the bottom here is going to be the sizes for it. You can go and specify that. And once you've added that, you go and click on next. And from here, you could go and choose whatever way that you want to actually pay. So maybe a credit card. So you could choose whatever here or cash. So if you choose cash here, you need to go to a specific location where DHL would actually pick up your package. But in this case, once you proceeded with the payment, you should be able to uh, basically uh, book your DHL career online here. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and square button and watch our next video.